Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ricky and right now I am updating my Learn Plan Profit team uh, on a series of different plays that I am taking just so you guys can see exactly what is going on. We have TQQQ showing signs of a support at the moving average. It's been validating this moving average on the one minute time frame. Um, really since market open every time that it pulls on back it validates it the more that it validates it the stronger it becomes it pulled on back i just added more to my position size it's testing this reversal but we have this very very strong resistance level right around 3330 you can see that it got rejected here once twice and three times we don't even know if we're going to go back up there again it looks like even the ema is showing signs of resistance just thought I'd bring you guys along and kind of explain my thought process behind it. As it validated this support, uh, one of the things that I began to do was um, add more to my position size. When it began to kind of consolidate and actually indicate and show signs of that support, uh, that's when I got a little bit more on the excited side of like, okay, uh, here's a nice little reversal. It's setting up quite nicely. It's kind of like a textbook reversal where you know it sells off, rejection phase, consolidation phase, indicating signs of a support, and then we wait for confirmation. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, once once we get that confirmation, we approach um, 3325, 3330. Uh, I think I might just play it safe. Today just did not perform or play out the way that I wanted it to. Um, here it goes. So, you know, market's only up 1.6%. Um, so it's not up very much. Uh, but I did a very, very good job managing my position size because if you guys do the math, I mean, with how much I have in the market, uh, I'm up more than 1.7%. And I think that's the beautiful thing behind averaging up and knowing how to manage your position size. It's not about being perfect. My The way that I averaged up was not perfect by any means. It was actually... Um, quite slow uh you know uh, one of the things that i was doing was I, I wanted to build confidence i mean the market opened up like three or four percent in the red uh so I, I wasn't very confident that the market was going to go in the green so when it was beginning to indicate signs of an uptrend this was actually all caught live in my live trading session um i i wanted to ease into my position that's exactly what i told my learn plan profit group and, and the analogy that i love to use is kind of like you know imagine or consider yourself as like a race car driver um if you're just getting warmed up or really i mean race car driver is one thing right but let's say that you're going to the gym and you know you're warming up are you gonna just like go and max out right away i mean you can but you could potentially hurt yourself or put yourself in an uncomfortable or unfortunate position right um trading i would say and, and the idea of just jumping into it right away when you don't understand where the market direction is going um, can kind of be the same especially when market conditions are either choppy or when market conditions are unclear if we're not consistently bullish if we're not consistently bearish you know, why are you in the market? Anytime that you have an open position, you need to understand that like you are putting yourself at risk. Like That's exactly what it is. And uh, the larger your position, the more at risk you are at, right? So, you know, it's just like the same thing of like, yeah, you can lift five pounds, 10 pounds and warm up with that. But are you going to max out? I don't know what your max is, but I'm sure it's, you know, um, higher than mine. Um, but you know that, that's the whole point of warming up, and I feel like the stock market is no different. Uh, normally, right at market open, people, you know, we tend to see an increase of volume right away because right off the gate, beginner traders just love to throw their money at something, even if there's no consistent bullish or bearish pattern. Um, it can it can be choppy, right? And guess what? How many times have you taken a position right at market open and then almost instantly regretted it, where you were like, oh man, like. I wish I would have just waited 5, 10, 15 minutes and I've, I would have waited for direction to be more clear. It would have been very easy to see that, hey, you know, market was in the red. I started to short the market and then all of a sudden it began to pick up. If I would have just waited 30 minutes, I would have seen that, hey, market was actually, although it opened in the red, it doesn't matter where it opens. It matters where it heads, where, where there, there's a consistent direction. Uh, and we can see that it was consistently bullish. It did pull back a little bit, showed signs of a support. These are higher lows, right? Higher than the one before. And then it recovered, broke previous highs and continued to rally. Like that's a strong bullish indicator, um, which means that you would go long and not short. But you would never know that if you're opening in the red, if during the pre-market session, all it's doing is selling off. And we see this very, very often where at least I do. 
uh, during our live trading sessions, sometimes we like to encourage our beginner traders just to play, play it safe, right? Uh, that maybe you should wait 5, 10, 15 minutes and ask yourself, you know, is direction super clear? Obviously, if it's one of those perfect days, uh, let me actually show you an example of a perfect day. Uh, there's never such thing as a perfect day, but you get the idea. Even, even this day, right, where we sold off we showed signs of a support and then all of a sudden it just rallied for the rest of the day. Consistently bullish, you know, showing signs of an uptrend pattern and not really pulling back too aggressive where it almost struggles to pull back. It pulls back a little bit and then quickly recovers. That is almost like a perfect trading or day trading condition because it's almost hard to lose money because the market's so bullish. And that's kind of the idea that I always like to preach to our Learn Plan Profit members. It's kind of like, you know, if you really think about it, you get to decide what conditions you trade in. Like that, that is literally like you. Uh, so if you trade during choppy conditions, if you trade when the market just, when the market direction is not clear, you're doing it to yourself. If you're forcing a trade right at market open because you can, but not because you should, uh, again, you're putting yourself in that situation. I think it's just, uh, it begins to click over time and i think you need to make a couple of mistakes this is why i love to empower people that uh, watch my youtube channel it's kind of like you know i like to encourage them to either paper trade or to trade with a really small dollar amount and the reason why is because i think that you do learn a lot um from learning from your mistakes at least that's how i'm wired i, I learn best from doing uh i i work really well and and you know uh, watching videos and then I like to practice it but I think the way that I retain that information the best is definitely um, practicing everything that I learn and that's always what we try to preach to all of our members it's like you know our learn plan profit course is seven to eight hours long you really think that you are gonna understand the market in just seven hours it's like no watch every video and after every video right there's uh, over 70 videos after you watch every video you should practice it and practice it until it makes sense, until it clicks, until it becomes second nature. We talk about time frames. Understand the importance of time frames. Why with day trading you look at a smaller time frames, and why with swing trading or investing you look at larger time frames. I want you to understand the why behind everything. I don't need you to copy me, right? That's that's that should never be the goal. And this is something that maybe not a lot of people agree with. People try to. During my live trading sessions, they think that they're just going to be able to come on in and try to copy my trades. But guess what? With experience comes confidence and with confidence comes discipline, right? And I might be able to tolerate a more aggressive position than you. I might be able to stomach a more aggressive red day than you. This is why we always preach to never copy anyone. You learn nothing from copying. Ask yourself, what's your goal with trading? Do you want to be dependent on someone else for the rest of your life? No. The goal is to be self-sufficient, is it not? I think that's the beautiful thing of understanding why someone does something. We try to empower you to be a problem solver, not someone that copies. You learn nothing from copying. And you're also putting yourself in a position where you end up having to be dependent on someone and them telling you when to buy and when to sell. But guess what? We're all wired in different ways. We all see value in different ways, and we all tolerate risk in different ways. I might be okay with losing 2 to 5% in a day. You might not. Someone else might be able to stomach 10 to 15%. It's not that one way is more right than the other. It's just there's different trading styles. Why not empower people to be like, hey, I, I, I think I can teach you the very basics of trading, but I want you to build off of that. I want to build a general understanding of the stock market so you understand how it works and why it works the way it does. But I want you to build off of that. I'm here to establish your foundation and I want you to build off of it, which does require a lot of work. You do have to overcome challenges and you have to be a problem solver. But again, people just don't want to put in that work. They're looking for the easy way out. And at least for me, I don't have that for you. You know. Um, I think that's one of the things that I enjoy most about the market is how challenging it is. It's why I wake up every morning. Imagine waking up every morning and doing the same thing over and over again and there being no excitement, no challenge. That's why people hate their jobs. Not everyone. We all know people that love their jobs. It's a beautiful thing, right? 
Why? Because it challenges them. Because there's there's you know, new areas that they get to explore. But when you do the same thing over and over again, it doesn't matter how much money you make. It just gets boring, right? I think that's just how humans work. They like overcoming challenges because that's where the greatest form of fulfillment tends to follow. That was deep. That was deep. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> All right, we're approaching that same resistance level. So I was on that five minute time frame so you guys could see it a little bit more clear. But I think we're going to have to play it safe here. So again, it's one of the things that we've been preaching. I'm going to go send an update uh, to my LPP team. Give me one quick second. So we got TQQQ showing signs of a resistance at, what is that? 33.25 once again. And these updates are just to make, you know, some of our beginner traders aware of critical levels. Uh, I never send out buy alerts. I never send out sell alerts. You guys will never, you know, if you ever wanted to join my team, even for my live trading sessions, if you want to copy me, I'm, I'm asking you, please don't join. There's like, that's not what we're here to do. Um, you're going to be let down very quickly because I trade live for about 30 minutes to an hour every morning, Monday through Friday. When the market opens, I'm there. But you still have to figure it out for the remaining hours of the day, right? So if you're not someone that's willing to put in the work, I can I can confidently say this market is not gonna treat you very well, confidently. All right, we're approaching $10,000 on the day. I think we should sell. All right. Getting ready, showing signs of a resistance. I'm either gonna sell at new highs or if we break below the EMA line, which will be right around 33.12. So it sucks and again, there's no such thing as a perfect trade. I'm not here to be a perfect trader. That's, that's a false hope. There's no such thing as a perfect investor or a perfect entry or the lowest price point or sell at the highest price point just doesn't work that way. My job isn't to be perfect. My job is just to make sense of my trades, to buy when it makes sense and to sell when it doesn't. And here it goes. Looks like we're retesting. What is that? 33.15, 33.16. We're gonna sell. Let's get this order ready to sell. And we're testing, testing. I'm gonna give it a little bit more, a little bit more time to see if we actually establish this as a support or if we make lower lows. I don't like selling too, too early. I'm okay with risking a little bit more just to make sure that I don't sell at the bottom where it could have just established the support and then recovered. Do you get what I mean? This isn't for everyone. Some people like to cut it right away or sell right away to each throne. There's so many ways, different ways in doing this. Here it goes. All right. Where are we at with time? 13 minutes. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I don't know if you guys like this. This is kind of like what my live trading sessions are like. It's just live. So imagine there being a live chat and then you being able to ask me questions while I'm trading. I answer your questions in real time. It could be about my trades. It could be about a trade you're about to take. I can break down a stock for you. It could be a question that you have as you're going through the course of, hey, you know, can you give me more examples of the EMA? Can you give me more examples of specific patterns? And I think that's the beautiful, people love to ask. It's like, well, what's the what's the value of the course? Well, it's like, I've said it so many times, like you can learn how to trade completely on your own. I did it. My question to you is, how much money are you going to lose in the process and how long is it going to take for you to figure all of it out how do you know to look for something if you don't know what you're looking for think about it it's going to take you some time or i can hand you our a to z blueprint it breaks down everything in an orderly fashion and it's structured and along the way it's kind of like a tutor how much easier would it be to learn how to do math if you had someone on your side assisting you along the way, not telling you the answer, but assisting you in overcoming the challenges 
to get to that solution, to get to that answer. That's what I'm here for. So if you think that you can do it all on your own, do it. I'm, I'm here and I, I will um, you know, push you. I would be happy for you. But if you feel like, hey, you know, I would like to condense the time that it will take for me to learn and I value the way that you trade, I would value your time, I would love to tune into the live sessions, I'd love to have access to you, right? Because that's everything. And so you can try to figure it out all on your own or you can have someone that shares it with you in a structured format and then is also there every day doing it and also assisting you along the way showing you my green days showing you my red days what i could could have done better what i could have what i did really well right it's every day presents new challenges you either want to be plugged in or you do it all on your own there's no right or wrong it's just whatever you value right that's the value behind learn plan profit live trading a to z course private group chat and then you also get access to my building my tech buds hq in chandler arizona we'll see who else offers you that all right so anytime you're in arizona or if you live in arizona you get access to my 7,000 square foot office space it's a trading center we have dual monitor setups set up for all of you exclusive to learn plan profit members you can get some work done. You can trade for a little bit. You can get some schoolwork if you run your own business into a co-working space just for you guys. Think about it as a WeWork, but for us, right? It's all-inclusive, one-time payment, lifetime access. And people love to ask, well, why would I offer all of that? Well, why not? My job is to offer as much value as I can to someone that's just getting started. So I tried to, I tried to do my best. I'm not perfect, but I definitely tried to do my best. Definitely try to be better than, than most, right? All righty, same resistance. Looks like I'm out of water. I'm going to have to close out this little session. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I've, I've never really even filmed videos like this, but if you guys would like me to film more of this, just drop a thumbs up. If this video gets like 1,500 likes, I could potentially film more of these. Um, and for any of you that are interested in joining our Learn Plan Profit team, um, first link down below, I'll offer you $150 off Learn Plan Profit 2.0. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. It's all-inclusive, and that's it. You can watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow if it's a you know normal business day. And at Market Open, I'll be there. So $150 off, it's our biggest discount. We'd love to see you there. If maybe you're not ready for that, feel free to send me a message within our free Discord chat. I just take a little bit longer to respond as I prioritize my LPP members, but that's gonna be that second link down below. Uh, also, don't forget to follow me here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. And that's that third link down below. Also, if you like any of the flags you see behind me, uh, they're super cheap. We, we uh, offer them at our shop, TechBuds website right now for the month of june we're giving away an ipad air and if you buy one of those you automatically get entered we like to incentivize people and if you like the stuff then why not buy it and then get incentives get incentives right for every one dollar you spend you get five automatic entries uh, but again all that will be linked down below i need to focus on this trade we're approaching the same resistance level but good thing i didn't sell right away right this is why i wanted to give it a little bit more time um ema is also rising now it's at 3314 but we still have that pesty little resistance level um i'll keep you guys up today again if you're part of lpp um anytime that you guys have any questions feel free to message me via discord if you're not well i think it's time for you to join so like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take it easy team let me close this bad boy out take care guys